Do spirits exist? What are they? Do they mess with people? Does any of this have any connection with Christianity? All this and more on today's edition of the Two Williams Podcast. Hello, and welcome to the Two Williams Podcast. I'm William Henley. William Quinn here. How is everyone doing today in uh, social media land? Yes, and uh, I would like to welcome you to the uh, first episode of the Two Williams Podcast. You know, uh, William, I was just thinking, you know, we've had great times, but just something feels different about this, uh, the podcast we're doing today since the last show we did, though. Well, Last show, uh, you have the uh, show notes in front of you. Uh, I mean, uh, this is the first episode. I know, but I just, you know, I just feel like that. Some strange reason we've been here before, though. You know, and like they're like three weeks ago, and you know, just I remember. I don't know if it was alcohol involved or whatever, but you know, I'm not saying I don't drink or anything, but I don't know. But what do you think? Well, okay, so you're not going crazy. This um is the first episode but we did do a couple of pilot episodes and uh the uh problem is is last minute we decided hey uh let's put this up on youtube as well and so set up a camera and the problem is is we had to set up like a couple of guys uh who were getting ready to do a podcast and uh what 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 Hmm. Well, yeah. what was wrong with that episode? I, I I thought it was great. I remember being very pleased with it when we walked away and we couldn't wait to put up. Hey, I mean, it's an episode though. I mean, we have something to put up. We were something we were proud of, you know. Oh well, yeah. I mean, there was just a few things like we uh, just didn't think about. I mean, it just looked like uh, it was a couple of guys sitting around a dining room table uh, in the spare bedroom. Yeah. Yeah, and you know, we're still in your spare bedroom right now but it just looks a little better now we got a new backdrop you know it's still the same table yeah we have uh, here we got multiple cameras camera one camera two camera three name keys and uh we have um a theme song now and uh, i want to uh mention a little something about that the uh theme song um uh i was uh, it's well, it's made by my friend uh, katie Kennard. uh this is the uh, album it's on this was off of her second album i believe she has or five albums now. Which I need to listen to. Uh, I heard from what William's been telling me, she's amazing. And I need to check her out. So. She's uh, this great singer-songwriter um, out of Nashville. And um, uh known her uh, for years. Uh, met her uh, sister um, uh, in college. Uh, her, her sister and I are best friends. And um, I uh, one of her songs uh, came on uh, my Spotify playlist one day. And I said... And I really liked the beat of that song. I said, I would love to get like an instrumental version of that. And then I sit here and I'm like, why don't I just ask her? And so I called her up and she's like, yeah, sure. I'll make one for you. <laughs> so how did she send it to you? Was it just an MP3 file? Yeah, just an MP3. Okay. She sent it to me on Dropbox. She actually sent about four different files to me. And um, uh, she said, well, what about this one? About this one? What about this one? I said, actually, the long I, I, I originally asked you about and that you originally sent me it's like i'm good with that i like the other songs don't get me wrong but i said it this i hope you told end. her about the uh the podcast we're doing oh yeah actually uh her and a friend have been doing a podcast for a few years uh, i need to listen to yeah well hey uh william before we uh get starting on, on uh today's topic um let's uh go ahead and uh listen to a word from our sponsor sounds good to me Hey, Editor Will here. Hey, only our audio podcasts have sponsors right now on YouTube. No sponsors, so no ads for you guys. On uh, today's um, episode, what um, I wanted to discuss is uh, someone came to me um, a couple of weeks. Uh, it started off as um, a Facebook post, and they were basically asking how to get rid of evil spirits. And um, if they knew anyone who did cleansings and stuff. And someone um, tagged me in the post. And uh, I, I came back and I started um, interacting um, uh, with the person. And a couple of things, you know, I said is, well, has anything changed recently? Um, have you, like, uh, 
invite uh, you know open door uh, uh, <clears throat> something like that and so we started inter talking for a couple of minutes and um the uh idea she uh, she pretty much came back at me and she said well it sounds like you're only attacking this from a christian perspective how could you not attack it from a perspective that's actually where we attack demons from uh, as believers yeah well and the, the thing that kind of got me is, you know, it's so funny that people are okay with accepting the paranormal and stuff, but Christianity is just a complete mystery to them. Do you uh, kind of want to get a bit into um, some scripture? Go for it, man. And sorry. I think that's the best way to handle it is through the Word, you know, mm -hmm. so... Um, I think whatever scriptures we need to look at mm -hmm. them and examine them, see, you know, how the area of light can penetrate the area of darkness and mm -hmm. for that matter, pretty much. Um, what this is from Job one six and it says, One day the members of the heavenly court came to present themselves before the Lord, and the accuser, Satan, came with them. Where have you come from? the Lord asked Satan. Satan Satan answered the Lord, I have been patrolling the earth watching everything that's going on. Then the Lord asked Satan, Have you noticed my servant Job? He is the finest man in all the earth. He is blameless, a man of complete integrity. He fills God and stays away from evil. Okay, so um, I want to go back to Job 1.6 here because there's something interesting here, something that... I'm sure you have heard Christians say, and that is that the enemy cannot be in the presence of a, a holy God. Um, and I think we can see right here from Scripture that is not the case. Um, and this is Satan comes into heaven and um, addresses God. Right. As Satan answers, I have been patrolling the earth, watching everything that's going on. Um, in uh, her book, uh, Mimoc the Devil, uh, Anne Rice kind of uh, goes into this concept of um, Satan was one of the watchers that you talk, that is talked about in the book of Enoch. And uh, uh, so where I'm getting at with this is... Um, First of all, we've got to realize who the enemy is. Right. And um, Satan was one of the sons of God. He was an angel. Um, and uh, the thing is, is um, Satan still has access to go back and forth to heaven. He and God are adversaries, but God still loves Satan. He loves all of his creation. Even the ones that accuse him and are totally against him now. Mm. I mean, he still created him, so mm. even those, even God has, still has love for Satan, even though he's going to create the most wicked, mm. vile, hostile matter against God as much as possible. Right. Okay. Um, and uh, another thing we may get into on, on a future episode is um, it says uh, Satan the Accuser. Um, which Satan means the accuser. Um, but uh, my <clears throat> question is, who was he accusing? And it seems that the, if God is calling him Satan, Satan accused God of something. We'd certainly like to know what that was. My personal opinion on that, it doesn't matter what Satan mm -hmm. accused God of. God is all mm -hmm. supreme human being. Yeah. He's going to prevail in the end no matter what, mm -hmm. you know. I mean, he's already won that battle when Jesus died on the cross. Mm -hmm. And the story. Yeah. You know. Uh, let's uh, hit um, another. So this is specifically talking about Satan. Let's get into the subject of uh, demons. Uh, and uh, uh, this story is also in Mark, but um, I kind of like the way that Luke has it. And um, it says, so they arrived in the region of uh, the Gesineris across the lake from Galilee. As Jesus was climbing out of the boat, a man who was possessed by demons came out to meet him. For a long time, he had been homeless and naked, living in the tombs outside the town. As soon as, she's, as, soon as he saw Jesus, he shrieked 
and fell down in front of him. Then he screamed, Why are you interfering with me, Jesus, Son of the Most High God? Please, I beg of you, don't torture me. For Jesus had already commanded the evil spirit to come out of him. The spirit had often taken control of the man. What is interesting here is, uh, look at the first sentence here. What does that say? Or Jesus had already commanded? Jesus had already commanded the Spirit to come out, and yet the Spirit is still there having a conversation with Jesus. Mm -hmm. So, um, I think what uh, if we go back here, though, we realize that the uh, Spirit does realize that uh, Jesus uh, uh, can and uh, will uh, torture him. He does have ultimate authority, right. but he still sits here and... Um, uh, argues with Jesus. I remember. Um, I think his name was Legion. I think his name was this one. It was Legion. Yeah, I think it was Legion. Yeah, because yeah. I don't know if you remember saw the Jesus film when they had that scene. Um, I clearly remember the scene when she was. Uh, he came out and ran towards Jesus and said, "Son of God, what do you want with me?" You know, mm -hmm. and um, you know, I, 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 I got the story instantly when I first saw that movie. So mm -hmm. you know. It's like we just don't give the enemy enough respect. Um, it's like we, we, it's almost like we make fun of the enemy. We need to realize that the enemy is powerful. He's not more powerful than God, but he's more powerful than us. Right. Now, with God on our side, we have the authority to overcome the enemy. But like I said, with, but if we're not with God, we are less powerful than the enemy. This kind of uh, comes back to the thought of how can someone who's not of God drive out an evil spirit? Or do we know they're dr actually driving out the evil spirit because they're not of God, period? I mean, they don't know the actual meaning and heart behind what God represents to drive that evil spirit out in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So, you know, I mean, anybody can claim to take out in an evil spirit in any name possible. The only one that has true power is in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, he's the only one that sent, Jesus was the only one that went to the cross for us, died for us, bled for us, and then rose three days later. Yeah. That's enough to take out any evil spirit by yes. itself. I think, in, my personal opinion is, if anybody else is trying to do evil spirits, they're doing it on their own merit, their own will, their own their own sacrifice, not through God's, and not through the Holy Spirit's sacrifice. Right. Well, and one of my thoughts is Satan is um, the uh, um, ultimate liar, right. and uh, I'm imagining uh, his demons and stuff are too. It's like. Yeah, let's go away for a while, make every, uh, them think everything's fine, let them fall back into their old way of life, and then come back. And we'll come back more powerful. It says in Luke 11, uh, starting in verse 24, that uh, when an evil spirit leaves a person, it goes into the desert searching for rest. But when it finds none, it says, I will return to the person I came from. So it returns and finds that its former home is all swept and in order. Then the spirit finds seven more other spirits more evil than itself, and they all enter the person and live there. And so that person is worse off than before. Now, um, this, uh, of course, is uh, speaking of um, uh, possession. But um, I'm, even if you have like a territorial spirit or something like that, mm. yeah, the thing could go off for a while, uh, you know, after um, uh, someone of not of faith uh, has driven it off and mm. then come back and then you're worse off than before. Right. You know, the funny thing is, is this person um, was talking about, uh, well, you know, there's other ways that you could uh, sit here and have uh, spirits in your house. Like um, um, if you uh, are messing with a Ouija board and if you don't um, close off the connection, right. And I'm like, close off the connection. What you're saying is you opened a connection. I said, how is this different than the open door that I was talking about? I've got a story about that. Uh, I, uh, I hope he doesn't mind me sharing this. Um, Go for it. I don't know if you know Zach Nieces. 
Oh yeah. Yeah, I I was actually he was actually when I was at CFNI in 2005, he was my worst tech, one of my worst tech arts teachers there. So mm -hmm. I knew him way back in the day. Uh, he shared the story uh, one time when he was in Brazil with Ana Paula Valdo a few years ago. Um, that he had, um, he, I think he just had a newborn babe, one of his newborns, and he was trying to, um, and I think uh, his wife was in another room trying to um, console him, but he was just crying, crying, crying. At the same time, Zach was watching this movie. It wasn't, it was like a really dark movie he was watching. And at all this time, you know, the babe was still crying and crying and crying. And then Zach was kind of getting annoyed, saying, hey, I wish he'd just stop. You know, I want to watch this movie. But then, um, for some reason, he turned off the movie, and then all of a sudden, the baby stopped crying. I remember this story, yeah. Yeah, and then he then was like, I, guess, I don't know if he was like remorseful at that time. I don't know the exact story. I might need to ask him about it. I hope he doesn't mind me sharing this, because it's a great story. Well, about... he shared it publicly before, so... Um, yeah. yeah. Yeah, well, I give him credit for this. Zach, if you're listening, great story, by the way. Um... And, you know, just that, he was just so remorseful, you know, he had mm -hmm. to, you know, ask for God forgiveness for letting that type of demon into his house. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's funny that you should say that. Um, that reminded me of something that um, I wanted to talk about. It's literally triggered. triggered. God's actually been um, on me lately to uh, do some decluttering. I know with me... He, he came out, um, well, Anna, you mentioned this in um, one of our pilot episodes about my movie collection and stuff. Mm -hmm. I like movies of um, all kind. Um, By the way, he used to movies while I'm the vinyl record. You should see my vinyl record collection. It's like, you know. <laughs> yeah. Which I should get you into. You, you, I think you, I can see you as a, with a, as a vinyl freak, you know. I, I'll get you into that, by the way. <laughs> Moving on, though. Yeah, yeah. I, I've just been having what's felt like an evil spirit on this house almost since mm. i moved in I, I finally asked something about it and he he started hitting me in a couple of places that um it's like i never even thought about like he said well he said let's get rid of some of your uh uh movies he said he said don't just sell them he's like literally just like throw them out and i'm like you know i got like over 600 movies and he said I think he picked out six that he wanted me to get rid of. And I'm like, oh, okay, I'm good with that. But I'm like, you know, may I ask uh, which six? And he said, Poltergeist. Yeah. Um, he said, uh, Stranger Things, uh, seasons one and two. And, um, oh, uh, let, let the Right One In. I don't know if you've seen I've this. I've never heard of that in my life. Um, so. It was um, a just say twisted, I'm, sweetest uh, vampire movie. I'll say this. I'm very... I'm not really into any like new TV stuff at all. Period. I'm I'm more into the old school stuff like you know what's happening, mm -hmm. good times. Um, my all time favorite show is Moonlighting. Uh -huh. I don't know if you remember that show or not, but yeah. that that was my favorite show. My sister actually got me into that show, so, but mm -hmm. I got uh, so I'm I'm into like like 70s and 80s TV a lot. Yeah. So well, like Welcome Back, Hotter, and all other stuff. So but. yeah. Well, and um, going back to this, I'm sitting here like, well, wait a second. Okay, you asked me to get rid of, you know, let the right one in, which mm -hmm. is um, a vampire movie. Well, what about Interview with the Vampire, which is one of my all-time favorite movies? Uh, what about um, the Twilight series, which I'm not a big Twilight series fan, but I have the movies. Um, uh, and I'm like, and, uh, you know, we're sitting here talking about Stranger Things. It's like, what about Harry Potter? Is that all right? And he said, oh, yeah, yeah, those are fine. And I'm like, what's the difference? And he said, the difference is, is the mindset behind uh, of the per people who that made the movie that makes sense. and uh, how they are addressing, um, how, how they are addressing the um, topic. It makes sense. Makes a lot of sense. You know, like the, the mindset of the director, the producer, what they wanted to portray in that movie mm -hmm. and how it relates to our faith. I can see why movies like Poltergeist don't relate to the faith. You know, yeah. exactly. They're just complete opposite. So I can see why, you know, he told you to get rid of that. Yeah, there was a sense of peace, but uh, there was still um, just kind of like this spirit. And this past week, he um, hit me about a few other things. And uh, let me tell you, it's like, um, I, you know, I, I, 
because uh, I'm right now definitely in this like decluttering part of my life. I mean, yeah. I've got too much stuff. I'm in a two bedroom house. I got too much stuff. I got rid of some of this uh, stuff that he said uh, that there was a spirit attached to. Uh, and he said, he said, the thing is, is he said it wasn't necessarily that the item itself was evil. He said uh, uh, the place you got it from, uh, uh, there was a spirit there. Wow, that's interesting. I listened. I got rid of the stuff. And, man, I'll tell you, uh, my, my, it's been a different place here in this house. Um, uh, my mind has cleared. And um, so, um, yeah, you know, I'm definitely uh, believe uh, in, you know, th there, there are spirits here. They do mess with us. Anyway, um, this this topic uh, is not quite complete. I'm gonna take uh, get on to a bit more of the spirits and uh, spirituality and stuff on a future episode. Yeah, we're going to we're probably gonna need more than one episode to talk about this pretty yeah. much. So, but I mean, uh, today I specifically wanted to um, address uh, demons and um, uh, talk uh, briefly about Satan. We're gonna have another whole episode on Satan in the future, probably. Sounds good to me. But. Um, as for today, we're hitting our time. We might actually be over. Um, and so um, I say uh, thank you guys for tuning in. And uh, you have anything for closing? Uh, just, you know, only thing that can combat evil is love and truth in the spirit of Jesus Christ. That's all I'm going to say there. Take that as you wish. Yeah. And uh, I'm just going to say uh, if um, you don't know Jesus Christ, Feel free to, you know, reach out uh, to any church in your area, um, any uh, pastor. Um, uh, oh, I'm going to say any church. Uh, there's I'll, probably I'll, some wacky churches. I'll, th I'll throw this out there also. If you want to hit us up on, on Instagram or Twitter, yeah. hit us up. We'll talk to you about Christ. Yeah, um, we know? have um, our uh, Instagram things up there. Um, and uh, you're welcome to direct message us. Um mm -hmm. I will let you know, um, I do have Facebook. Do not hit me up on Facebook unless you know me personally. My Facebook is for friends and family, but my Instagram is public, so you can hit me up on okay. Instagram. Okay. I'm same, um, pretty much the same way also uh, with, um, with uh, as far as he goes. Um, Facebook is, uh, well, actually, no, take that back. Uh, Facebook, uh, both my Facebook and my Instagram is public, so um, just hit me up. I'll, I'm glad to talk. Mm -hmm. sounds good thanks for tuning in and that'll be it for today we'll see you next time thank you and god bless goodbye hey hello it's editor will here hey i'm going to cut these guys a bit of a slack because it's their first official episode but i need them to start telling you guys that if you will click on the subscribe icon on youtube and give us a thumbs up and if you'll click on the bell icon you'll get notifications of when we post no new shows which will definitely be helpful on days like today when i'm running a bit late and if you're listening on one of the audio podcast platforms just click give us a subscribe and recommend us to your friends thank you bye-bye <laughs>